Critical Thinking by John Maxwell. There are five critical questions that we must ask ourselves if we want to learn with people. Number one, the readiness question. Are you prepared for relationships? Number two, the connection question. Are you willing to focus on others? Number three, the trust question. Can we build mutual trust? Number four, the investment question. Are we willing to invest in others? And number five, the synergy question. Can we create a win-win relationship? Within these questions, Maxwell includes people principles that need to be practiced in order to answer these questions in a positive way so that you can win with people. Maxwell's thesis is that people can usually trace their successes and their failures to relationships in their lives. This thesis is proven through the 25 people principle and also relates to the 21 laws of leadership and the 7 habits of highly effective people. Part 1. The readiness question. Are you prepared for relationships? Embedded in this question are 5 people principles. The lens principle, who we are determines how we see others. The mirror principle, the first person we must examine is ourselves. The pain principle, hurting people hurt people and are easily hurt by them. The hammer principle, never use a hammer to swat a fly off of someone's head. And the elevator principle, we can lift people up or take them down in our relationships. In these principles, Maxwell emphasizes that who you are determines not only how you see people, but how you see the world around you. In order to change this, you have to examine yourself before examining others. Psychologist Abraham Maslow once said, if the only tool you have is the hammer, you tend to see every problem as a nail. But what determines who we are? Well, it's genetics, self-image, experiences, choices, and attitudes. Maxwell proves that if you don't like people, that really is a statement about you and the way you look at people. We must learn that we need to have self-awareness, a good self-image, self-honesty, self-improvement, and self-responsibility. Maxwell says that coping with difficult people is always a problem, especially if the difficult person happens to be you. Also, make sure you lift people up instead of taking them down in relationships. Always try to add value to others. This relates to the law of addition from Maxwell's 21 Laws of Leadership, saying that leaders add value by serving others. Part 2. The Connection Question. Are we willing to focus on others? Included in this question are the big picture principle. The entire population of the world, with one minor exception, is composed of others. The exchange principle. Instead of putting others in their place, we must put ourselves in their place. The learning principle. Each person we meet has the potential to teach us something. The charisma principle. People are interested in the person who is interested in them. The number 10 principle. Believing the best in people usually brings out the best in people. And the confrontation principle. Caring for people should proceed confronting people. All human beings possess the desire to connect with others. People who remain self-centered and self-serving will have a hard time getting along with others. Get out of your own little world, check your ego, and understand what brings fulfillment. Also, acknowledge that other people have a valid point of view. Maxwell says that each person we meet has the potential to teach us something, and if you have a teachable attitude, you will be positioned well to learn from others. The key is valuing other people. Become genuinely interested in other people because they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Philosopher and poet Joanne Wolfgang Van Gogh once said, Treat a man as he appears to be and you make him worse but treat a man as if he already were what he potentially could be and you make him what he should be. This relates to habit 5. Seek to understand and then to be understood. This is because if you care about a person, you should seek to understand. Part 3. The Trust Question. Can we build mutual trust? Embedded in this question are the bedrock principle. Trust is the foundation of any relationship. The situation principle. Never let the situation mean more than the relationship. The Bob Principle. When Bob has a problem with everyone, Bob is usually the problem. 
the approachability principle. Being at ease with ourselves helps others be at ease with us, and the foxhole principle. When preparing for battle, dig a hole big enough for a friend. Maxwell says that building trust is like building a structure. It takes time and must be done one piece at a time. Trust is the foundation of any relationship, the frame of any relationship, and is the height of any relationship. Trust begins with yourself, cannot be compartmentalized, and works like a bank account. This relates to the emotional bank account mentioned in the seven habits and also relates to the law of solid ground. Trust is the foundation of leadership in all relationships. Never let a situation mean more than a relationship because this means you have lost perspective. There is a big difference between a problem that occurs once and a problem that occurs again and again and again. If you have a problem with someone else, then you usually are the problem. Learn to appreciate the differences in people, be sensitive and understanding, and have the ability to forgive. Some of us have foxhole friends that love us unconditionally, provide strength, and make a big difference in our lives. Part 4. The Investment Question Are we willing to invest in others? The Gardening Principle All relationships need cultivation. The 101% Principle Find the 1% we agree on and give 100% of our effort. The Patience Principle The journey with others is slower than the journey alone. The Celebration Principle The true test of relationships is not only how loyal we are when friends fail, but how thrilled we are when they succeed. And the High Road Principle We go to another level when we treat others better than they treat us. The return you get in a relationship depends on what you invest. You can start to cultivate a healthy and growing relationship by focusing on commitment, communication, friendship, memory, growth, and caring. Voltaire wrote, If the first law of friendship is that it has to be cultivated, the second law is to be indulgent when the first law has been neglected. Sometimes, building a relationship is an uphill battle, which can be particularly difficult. Maxwell says that when connection is difficult, find one thing that the two of you can agree upon. It takes patience and timing. People who so readily identify failure sometimes have a hard time connecting with success. We have to realize that achievements aren't a competition, so when a friend achieves something that is important to them, celebrate with enthusiasm. We can take low roads where we treat others worse than they treat us. We can take the middle road and treat others the same as they treat us. Or we can take the high road and treat others better than they treat us. High roaders set high standards for themselves, expect more than others think is possible, and work more than others think is necessary. The last part is part five, the synergy question. Can we create a win-win relationship? Included in this question are the boomerang principle. When we help others, we help ourselves. The friendship principle. All things being equal, people will work with people they like. All things not being equal, they still will. The partnership principle. Working together increases the odds of winning together. And the satisfaction principle. In great relationships, the joy of being together is enough. When both people enter into a relationship with an investment mindset, a women relationship can result. Now, we've all learned about this in Habit 4, which is think win-win. The great thing about a women relationship is that they can be created everywhere in life. People who invest in others give and then receive. To become someone who invests in others, think others first and focus on the investment, not the return. Most people underestimate the power and importance of relationships in regards to business and career. The four levels of business relationships are people knowledge, service skills, business reputation, and personal friendships. Try to build relationships with everyone, but forge partnerships with only a few. Maxwell says that every person possesses one of two mindsets, scarcity or abundance. This also relates to habit four, which talks about the abundance mentality. People with an abundance mindset believe that there is always enough to go around. Four factors create the right climate for relationships. Number one, shared memories create a bonded environment. Number two, Growing together creates a committed environment. Number three, mutual respect creates a healthy environment of trust and servanthood. And number four, unconditional love creates a safe environment. After I finished reading, 
I decided to ask my peers their answers to some of the questions that appear in Winning with People. First, I asked, are you prepared for relationships? And the majority said yes, because they have experience communicating with others. Next, I asked, are you a trustworthy person? And the majority said yes, because they are very responsible and keep promises. Finally, I asked them, are you a friend that others can depend on through difficult times? And the majority said yes, because they will always try their best to help a friend. Now that we have gone over all five critical questions and 25 people principles, here are some reviews of winning with people. Always remember that relationships are the key to a fulfilling lifestyle, and trust is the foundation of these relationships. You can always trace your successes and failures through relationships you have had in life.